Petula's dropping some new pieces this month and we are here to chat about it. It's because of you that I even tried Petula in the first place. You guys were requesting them big time. I gave them a shot and I really liked what I tried. Apparently they really like us too here because they sent over some unreleased pieces for us to chat about. There's actually no real collection name with this launch, so I went ahead and just made up my own name. I'm calling this the Earth Goddess Collection. As this video goes on, drop a comment with what you believe this collection name should be. After you've seen the pieces, what comes to your mind? I would love to see what your answers are. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do stuff like this all the time on this channel. Up next, we have some brand new Alphaly Amplified colors. Ironically enough, as I'm talking, UPS just dropped the package off at my front door. Bae, can you go get that, please? Come here, my precious. Oh. You guys would love these new colors. Anyways, back to Petula. This collection is going to be launching Saturday, June 17th. I do have my support code ASHG that does save you 5% off of all of your Petula orders. Thank you so much if you do choose to use it. It does also go towards helping this channel. Keeping these videos coming your way, working strongly with these brands so we can review these products before the launch. They're going for a very desert feel. Let's take a look at each individual piece that's gonna be launching. We have the Henley Crop, Summertime Tank, the flow jacket, the Sierra legging in both 23 inches and 26 inches. The Sierra shorts available in four inch and six inch. The diamond back sports bra, the mesh short, men's mesh short, 4.5 and 7.5 inch. The track pant, the casual long sleeve and the casual tee. I forgot for a second that Petula does men's. Has anybody actually tried the men's stuff? Whether you or your bae has tried it, comment down below, I wanna hear your thoughts. Every single piece is in my true size small. I'll have my measurements over here as well as down in the description box below. Let's start with the Sierra six inch short. Now I have it in cactus and sand. The first thing I think of when I touch these shorts, I think of Paragon's Reluna fabric even to the extent that there's an internal scrunch. You know that elastic scrunch along the inside of the glute seam? Yeah, they got it too. This is such a trend these days and I love it because it's an undetectable scrunch. It's there to just emphasize your curves, add some pop to your peach without being over the top in your face. I'm so happy to see them coming out in different inseams. Especially for somebody like me, I prefer a little more length in my shorts. And I'm really glad they came out with six inch because I did still feel a little cinch around my thighs. Nothing too intense, but I do feel like if I went for the four inch short, I wouldn't have been that happy. So these are high-waisted. The high waist is very comfortable. There's no real cinching in. No front seam, but you do have a beautiful V seam in the back. Gripped logo. Now the cactus green has a black logo and the sand color has a white. To my surprise, especially I was surprised with the sand color, that they were very squat proof, surprisingly squat proof. So uh, you're good to go. These shorts are so so incredibly soft, like powdery, buttery, soft. They're not ultra thin though. For me, these shorts are perfect for casual wear. This is not something I prefer wearing to a gym because if you watch, you know I don't typically wear buttery soft material to the gym. When it comes to working out and I'm sweating and I'm rubbing weights up against my body, I don't vibe with wearing soft materials. Now, if you're somebody who loves working out in this kind of material, more power to you, but not for me. Overall, moderate compression. Like these shorts are great if you just wanna be comfortable. It's still very lightweight, so great for the summertime. Do keep in mind, the sweat test, man, it passed with flying colors, which is crazy, especially on this light sand color. But at the same time, it didn't actually wick the sweat off my skin. It doesn't have that wicking material blended in. There was no roll up in the six inch. I don't know how the four inch is gonna hold up. I would say these shorts are very true to size. If you're in between is when I would suggest sizing up. I wouldn't be able to get behind a tighter band and tighter cinch around the thighs. Honestly, I gotta say, even though Petula's a relatively smaller brand, I mean, on the scale of like Gymshark, Alphalete and everything, they're more on the smaller side. And I have to give them credit for coming out with really good high quality gear. I feel like whenever it comes to Petula, even pieces I've never tried and I'm trying it for the first time, I always feel like my instant reaction is, damn, this is lush. That's the number one word that comes to my mind 
when I think Petula is lush. Moving on to the Henley crop top. Now I have it in white. This is a built-in shelf bra crop top, making my life so much easier. This is very soft. It has that brushed fabric. This is a double layer crop top. So even if you took out the removable bra pads, you should be okay. In case you're wondering, every single one of these buttons are real. I can't even tell you how annoying. <laughs> It is. When I receive certain pieces that have fake buttons, fake pockets, it's like, who are you trying to fool here? I feel betrayed. On the back of the neck, you'll see that really noticeable gripped printed on logo. I don't know if I love that on this white piece. I really wish it was white on white. Tonal is just my thing these days. I do like the length on this too. It does cover my stomach, especially with high-waisted leggings. I think this would look really cute with high-waisted jeans as well. So I feel like this piece is versatile in that sense. Overall moderate support right at the armpits. Some of this material flared out a bit. I personally feel like this piece would be great if you have larger breasts. I think you'd be able to fill this area out more and perhaps the armhole would lay better against the skin. So if you're in between, I would suggest sizing down, but for me, I'm comfortable with my true size small. Any smaller would have just felt too snug on me. I prefer a little more space than not enough. Let's take a look at the mesh shorts. This is in the color pale gold. First impression when wearing these, kind of rode up my gooch. <laughs> <laughs> there was very little to no space there. These types of shorts are tricky. If you sat these low on the hips, they might not be as intrusive to the groin area, but for me, just wearing them as they lay, yeah, it got to the point where it was just a little too close for comfort. Also, there's no lining in here, so it's great for a summer day, very breathable and lightweight, but you gotta wear something underneath it. But I do think these would make for a great swimsuit cover up. Okay, keep it casual, throw these shorts on over a bikini and you'll be a-okay. Because they are very light, breathable, stretchy. So in that sense, they're very comfortable and perfect for the hot weather. You do have an elastic band. So the band sat comfortably around my waist. The rest of it, I have to size up. If I'm gonna wear these, they'd have to be up a size. You do have two pockets. The Petula text is written out on the left hip. I do have a feeling this is gonna start to peel very soon. I would have loved to see an embroidered logo specifically on this piece because it's tricky when it comes to mesh. The corset top, they did a white logo. Again, with the contrast logo. What are your thoughts on that? Do you love being able to see the branding? Do you want as high contrast as possible? Or are you someone like me who just prefers more tonal logos these days? First thing I thought of was Buff Bunny's corset crop top. Now they're very different though. This one actually has a built-in bra. It's a shelf bra, so it adds so much more support than the Buff Bunny. Both are great, but if you're somebody who likes built-in support, like myself, this is great. If you actually wanna wear it out and about, out for an evening, having dinner, this is what you wanna grab. The overall shape, it does go lower in the front, a little higher in the back. Very thick straps, this is non-adjustable, but super comfortable to wear. These seams that go down the front to give it that corset look, you can actually feel them. It really does add to the snugness in that area gives more of a body fit feel. Again, very brushed soft material. Everything in this collection just has this crazy softness to it. These seams may appear very stiff, but do not get it twisted. They're actually very soft, bendable, really nothing to it. There's no hard wire or wiring going on in these seams, even though it looks like it could be because they are so thick. Because these seams create a tighter effect all around, if you're in between, you might wanna consider which way you wanna go. Now they're stretch, so technically, if you're in between, you could size down. But for me, I'd probably go the other way because I wouldn't want these seams to be tighter especially because you already have the built-in sports bra as it is. I don't think you need it any tighter to add any extra support. We have got to talk about the flow jacket. It is only coming in this one color, sand. This jacket is so feather light, like a windbreaker, but it has a nice stretch in it. The first thing I noticed when I pulled this out of the bag, that big, bold back branding. Can you see it? Can you even freaking see it in this camera? It is this light, beigey silver, printed on Petula logo. It's intense and it's in your face. So happy to see them going with more of a subtle color on this piece. I like the fact that this jacket has a very relaxed, almost oversized fit to it. There's a lot of room in this jacket, so out of the gate, if you prefer a tighter fit, you could get away with sizing down. The elasticated cuffs are nice, the full zip, 
you have two pockets that are zippered. So not only do you have the outside zipper pockets, but you also have two internal pockets as well. Very lightweight hood. The zip goes all the way up into a snood neck. I do have to say this isn't like your traditional windbreaker where you feel like you're wearing plastic. This has a really nice breathability to it. So even though it may be hot or humid out, you can still wear this when it's raining. Last but not least, we have the casual long sleeve in the color Army Sage. Now, when I first got this piece in, I wasn't totally in love with this color. I'm not gonna lie. Luckily, they still are coming out in other colors, light gray, dark gray, and blue. <coughs> it's the orange skies doing it. <coughs> So even though I'm not thrilled with this color, I think it's just the mixture of green and yellow that's getting to me. <laughs> just looks, I don't know, sickly, <laughs> if that makes sense. I was actually shocked when I pulled this out of the package with how heavy and dense this is. It's actually made out of rayon. You know what happens with rayon and viscose. They get wrinkly very easily. So make sure you got your steamer on hand. <laughs> Unless you're like me and you walk out of the house just looking like a crinkled bag of chips. So yeah, this is overall very heavy. I do think this would make for a nice pump cover if you want to go to the gym, warm up a bit, because it's large enough to do so. This is a small and it is pretty oversized. You can 100% get away with sizing down, obviously, especially because you have a ton of stretch. This is actually very minimal. I didn't see a single patool. There it is. Okay, so they actually sewed in the Petula logo, nice and embroidered. I wouldn't say this is totally breathable. Inside is soft, this doesn't feel like cotton. There's no cotton in it. This isn't gonna shrink anything like that. So that was that, you guys. What are your thoughts on the new Petula drop? Very simple desert theme going on here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Drop a comment with your overall thoughts on Petula. What should I try next? Stay tuned because next up we have Alphalete Amplify. A new Buff Bunny collection is dropping soon. You don't want to miss that. And we have exciting news when it comes to the world of Gymshark. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video.